This short tutorial is about space, but particularly about the sun and other stars. Our sun is a star, and it's one of billions of stars that orbit the centre of the galaxy. And our galaxy is called the Milky Way. And the Milky Way galaxy is one of billions of galaxies that orbit and move away from the centre of the universe. Our sun and all other stars are formed from dust clouds, which are pulled together under gravity, and they are called protostars. As they move inwards, the gravitational potential energy is converted into heat and a protostar is formed. In the main sequence, which is what our sun is doing now, um, there are two forces. The gravitational force, as mentioned, which is pulling it inwards, pulling it together, and there's a radiation pressure which is act toward, acting outwards. These will balance up so the forces are equal, and when they're equal, the sun or the star is stable. Stars are basically nuclear reactors. Hydrogen forms into helium, and that process is called nuclear fusion. When that happens, an enormous amount of energy is produced. And this will happen for millions of years. What happens eventually is that the fuel, the hydrogen, the helium will run out. And when this happens, the star will begin to die. It will change. If it's, a if it's a very small star, for example, our sun is quite a small star, it will turn into a red giant. However, if it's much, much bigger, about four times bigger than our, star, our sun, it will turn into a red supergiant. So small stars turn into red giants, big stars turn into red supergiants. What then is another transformation, is if for very, very small stars, the red giant will collapse under its own gravity, being pulled inwards, could become much smaller and turn into a white dwarf, and then eventually into a black dwarf as it runs out of energy. That's what happens with small stars. That's what will happen with our sun in millions of years to come. If it's a much, much bigger star than the star with a red giant, it will shrink, and then the enormous amount of energy it will explode. And that explosion is called a supernova. After a supernova explosion, what will happen is the remaining core turns into something called a neutron star. Then if that neutron star is big enough, it will become a black hole. And black holes, as you probably guess, are black in terms of the light cannot escape from the gravity from within.